Dear students, today I am going to deliver about the explanation of trigonometric value for sin theta and cos theta. So before that, I will explain about the 360 degree circle, 360 degree angle circle. This is a circle. And this circle is divided into four parts. Each circle having 90 degrees. So this is 0 degree, this is 90 degree, this is 180 degree, and this is 270 degree. And this is 0 degree or 360 degree. Now, this first part, first 90 degree, is called first quarter. First quarter. And second 90 degree, second 90 degree, that means 90 degree to 180 degree is called second quarter and third part that is 180 to 270 is called third quarter and fourth part this is between 270 to 0 degree or 360 degree is called fourth quarter so this circle is divided into four parts and we will have to find out the any angle uh, in this uh, uh, trigonometric value of any angle in these four quarters. So the, it has some rules and regulations. Let us consider the first quarter. In this first quarter, in this first quarter, all trigonometric values, values are positive. All. All trigonometric values, that means sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cot theta, cosec theta, sec theta, all are positive. And in the second quarter, In the second quarter, in the second quarter, sine theta and cosec theta, sine theta and cosec theta are positive. Now, in the third quarter, In the third quarter, the values of ten theta, and four theta are positive. In the In the last quarter, fourth quarter, cos theta, cos theta and sec theta are positive. Now, I am explaining the case of first quarter. Now, I am explaining the case of first quarter. Let we have if sine of ninety degree minus theta is equal to 
cos theta. Sine of 90 degree minus theta is equal to cos theta. How this is happening? How this was happening? So first of all, look at the left hand side. Look at the left hand side. Sine of 90 degree minus theta. That means, that means this angle will fall in the first part. So, so in this case, so in this case, <coughs> all are positive. So in this case, all are positive. So this is plus sign. And this can be written in this format. Sine of 1 into 90 degree minus theta. 1 into 90 degree minus theta. So 90 degree can be written in this format 1 into 90 degree minus theta. So since 1 is a even number, sorry, so since 1 is a odd number, since 1 is a odd number, so sine will be converted to cos. Sine will be converted to cross, cross. And value will be cos. Sign will be converted to cos and hello is sine of 90 degree minus theta is equal to cos theta. So similarly, similarly, in this quarter, similarly, in this quarter, sine theta is converted to cos theta and tan theta is converted to cot theta and sec theta is converted to cosec theta. First quarter, sin theta is converted to cos theta, tan theta is converted to cot theta and sec theta is converted to Cosec, sec theta is converted to cosec theta. Now I am explaining for the trigonometric table 0 to 90 degree for sin and cos. Now I in the previous class I have told that sin of 0 degree is equal to cos of 90 degrees. How this was happening? First of all, cos 90 degrees. Let us take cos 90 degrees. Cos 90 degrees. Let us take cos right hand side cos 90 degrees. So we can write So we can write cos 90 degree, we can write cos of 90 degree minus 0 degree. Ultimately, that this value is same. There is no, uh, no difference adding or subtracting 0 degree. So, this is this is as per rule all are positive since before 1 90 degree since before 90 degree 1 is present 
So one multiple multiple of one. So one is odd number. So it is converted to sine. Sine and degree is zero. So sine zero degree is equal to sine zero degree is equal to cos ninety degree, which I have told in the last class. Now second terms. Sine thirty degree is equal to cos sixty degree. This can be explained by this. Taking left hand side, sine thirty degree can be written as. 90 degree minus 60 degree. So result is 30. So 30 degree can be written as 90 degree minus 60 degree. Now as per rule, before 90, this is multiple of one. So it is plus and one uh, multiple one and plus. It will fall in the first quarter. So this is plus sine. So one multiple of one. So sine is converted to cos, and angle is 60. So sine 30 degree is equal to sine 30 degree is equal to cos 60 degree. Now. We will come to <coughs> ten. ten uh, sorry, we will come to sine forty-five degree. Forty-five degree is equal to cos forty-five degree. So these are the if we take left hand side. Sine 45 degree is equal to sine of 90 degree minus 45 degree. So this angle, this angle will fall in the first quarter. So positive sign will come since. Before 90, one is present. So this is cos, as because one is odd number, and angle is 45 degree. Now next is now next is sine 60 degree. Is equal to cos 30 degree. So sine 60 degree is equal to. We can write sine of 90 degree minus 30 degree. So. As as usual. This this angle will fall in the first quarter, so positive sign. And since before 90 it is a multiple of one, so one is odd number, so it is converted to cos, and theta is 30 degree. Now. So that is taking left hand side cos of 
Okay, thank you. 